Hello again. After watching my latest movie, some of you probably said that I have to be crazy. I mean, how it is possible that such huge ball of plasma, which we call the sun, could possibly wobble? Those images of the tilting sun had to be nothing more than simple errors in data. Well, I will have to disappoint you. The sun is wobbling. And now I will confirm it. Those images were captured by Stereo Ahead satellite. Now look closely. Can you see it? I mean, if those, if those tilts of some axis were recorded from the space and from the surface of Earth and on all images the tilt took place at the same time, it can't be a mistake. So the sun is wobbling. And now some images captured by SDO craft. There are no doubts that we can see here a strong shake of the sun. But now I would like to talk a little bit about the solar tsunami uh, which was emitted during the filament eruption which uh, to be honest was a reconnection uh, taking place between the low energy field and the sun. Look here. Look as the wave is spreading above a huge part of sun surface.
those of you who watched my previous movies where I was explaining the electromagnetic influence on our atmosphere should notice some similar similarities between the sun solar tsunami phenomenon and the atmospheric anomaly which was recorded above the northern Africa a couple days ago. And when we compare those two phenomena, we will notice that without any doubts we are dealing with the same process. The same forces which are causing climate anomalies on Earth are visibly influencing our star. As above, so below. But let's look closer at the magnetic field of Sun. First I want to check how the flux tube managed to connect itself to the Sun. After checking the connectivity point I can tell you without any doubts that the flux tube connected itself to the positive polarity of the Sun. You will probably say that it is normal. This field line is pointing from the positive polarity towards the negative field. And this is how it's supposed to work. But there is a small problem. The negative heliospheric field lines which are placed on the southern hemisphere of the Sun are open field lines. And it means that all those red field lines which cover bigger part of the southern pole are connected to the Sun only from one side and they are pointing towards empty space. Keep in mind that the negative polarity is responsible for the current flowing towards the Sun. Ok, let's go back to the SDO imagery. Look at this small plasma filament which is dancing over the southern pole of the Sun. As you can see here, a small cloud of the solar plasma was released from the surface and now it is hovering in some distance from the Sun. But solar particles supposed to move from the positive polarity towards the negative field. So how it is possible that we can see here the plasma being ejected from the negative pole? It is caused by the influence of low energy field which is charged negatively towards the heliosphere. That means that the Sun is producing far more energy than the field which is influencing our star. And this means that the energetic particles from the Sun will be pulled towards the negative field. And now we need to add the polarities and directions of current flow. As you probably know, the electric current is flowing from the positive polarity towards the negative one just like in the case of this connection. Because the negative charge of the low energy field is bigger, the positive field lines connect themselves to the field instead to turn back towards the Sun. Now let's add another factor. You need to keep in mind that the negative polarity of the Sun is as well charged positively towards the low energy field. That means that the negative charge of the low energy field is bigger than the negative charge of the heliosphere. That's why the energetic particles are trying to move from the negative heliospheric pole towards the field which is affecting the Sun. However, because the negative heliospheric field lines are directed towards the Sun, the exchange of particles between the negative polarity of the Sun and the low energy field can't take place. Let's talk about the heliosphere. Heliosphere is an electromagnetic bubble which surrounds entire solar system. Its structure doesn't differ that much from the magnetosphere. We have the magnetic polarity, closed field lines which connect both poles and open field lines which are connected to the Sun only at one side. 
This animation shows the sun during its minimum, in 2009. Every 11 years or so, the polarity flips, what is connected with sun reaching the maximum of its activity cycle. Because before the peak of cycle 24, the negative red pole was placed over northern hemisphere, after the current maximum, the polarity is supposed to be opposite. And this is the current situation. As you can see, the positive pole is placed indeed above the northern hemisphere, but its strength is seriously decreased when we compare it with the negative polarity. Besides, we can see that an additional negative pole appears from time to time in the middle of positive field. And if you ask why is that, here is the answer. You can see here something what is called solar tornadoes and which in fact are flux tubes which connect the heliosphere with the low energy field. It means that energetic particles are being sent into space and are not moving back to the sun. In this case, those particles are being discharged soon after they leave the surface of the sun. This magnetic connection can be seen nicely on this image. The brightness of the corona is visibly reduced there. Just to compare, I will show you the field lines which are building the heliosphere. Notice that they are marked on this image in grey color. You can see that they are visibly brighter than the rest of corona. What makes me worry is the fact that on this image which differs quite a lot from the one on Iswa, we can see that direction of current flow started to be perpendicular to the natural state. Positive field lines are the green ones, while negative are pink. For the end, a perfect example of a flux tube which formed in our atmosphere. It's exactly the same process which we saw over the surface of the sun. And here you can see how this force can affect our environment. Okay, that's it for today. Class dismissed. Peace.